Alright, men, we've made it. If they come knocking, take out what you can and then retreat into the temple entrance. With luck, they don't even know we're here, but we can't take any chances. Keep this area secure until I get back. Follow me. It's a ten minute walk to the site. Let's jog. Hieroglyphs. This must be the group that your archaeologist was looking at. What in the world? What is it? Can you read them? They're written in English. English? Babe, I love you know, but if that's English, I'm a Chinese jet pilot. He's right. That's no language I've ever seen, Angel. What are you talking about? It's perfectly intelligible English. It's all block of letters for crying out loud. That's an alien language, Angel. Took Professor Ceylon three months to figure out what these vowels. It's English, damn it! I'm not kidding. What is wrong with you people? All right, babe, calm down. If it's English, what does it say? This one says just what we've been talking about. A barrier seals away the protectors. Five have been chosen to break it. That's it? That's all this one says. The rest is illustration. This one says, To reach the barrier, the chosen must prove themselves worthy. They will be tested. If one fails, they all fail. I'm sorry, but that doesn't look like English. Well, she's on a roll so far. Go with it. Once the barrier is reached, only the strongest may breach it. Fire is the only obstacle. Oh, is that all? Piece of cake. Shh. The rest says, the protectors are there. They walk among you. Anything else? Anything about the reactor? Nothing that I see. Unless there are more glyphs. Accepting for a second that you're actually reading that, Angel, we do have to accept a simple fact. It's not English. We can't read it, and it took Professor Ceylon nearly a year to decipher most of it. It's an alien language. I'm only telling you what I see. That's what it says. She's right. I believe it. That's not English, Drifter. Surely you accept that. You're right. It's not English. But she sees it as English. It's not the most incredible thing she can do. Drifter! I think you'd better tell them, babe. I believe you. It's time they did, too. Tell us what. I... It's okay, babe. She's my sister. And if she's hung out with these two for this long, they're trustworthy as well. And as for Captain Kell, well, hey, three out of four ain't bad. We need to move, Drifter. Angel, if you have anything to tell us, do it now. All right, then. All right. I can do magic. Did I hear her right, Drifter? You bet you did. I didn't believe it at first either, but she can move stuff with her mind, even generate lightning. So if she says she can read those hieroglyphs, I believe it. You've finally gone off the deep end, bro. Damn it, Cassandra. Have I ever lied to you? Ever? Just stop being so damn literal-minded for a second. This is a frickin' big universe, and there's a whole bunch of crap out there that we simply don't understand. I've seen her do the things I've said. She's saved my life more than once with her magic. Then she evidently has more power than she appears to have. I believe you. You have no reason to lie. See? Grim knows what's up. Alright. If so, then that's a valuable asset to our team. The hieroglyph said that you'd be tested, and once you reach the barrier, your only obstacle would be fire. It's nice to have some idea what we're up against. Let's get moving. Revel and the others have 40 minutes remaining. For what it's worth, Angel, I'm willing to believe just about anything at this point. You see, no one ever believes. It just causes trouble. I'm sorry, Angel. My sister can be a pain. But I believe you. And Grim does. She'll come around. Now come on, we got a barrier to shatter. This lift will take us about 500 feet down to the construction site. Then we'll see if coming out all this way was worth it. Lead on, Captain. What in blazes? This is not a construction site. Damn, it's hot. 
Must have been an eruption of some sort. Looks like your construction site got flooded. You're right. We're on the upper scaffolding. The alien reactor is about three stories down, as well as most of the construction equipment. I didn't recognize the site. And General Vell's not going to like this. So what now? Well, the hieroglyph said we'd have to overcome fire. This could certainly count as fire, and a lot of it. This must be very cool lava, almost near solid temperature. If it was normal temp, the heat would have burned us into a crisp by now. How do we reach the reactor, then? The hieroglyphs didn't say anything about the reactor. They said that the barrier must be broken. Look around, Captain. Anything here that wasn't here before? I've only been here twice. I'm not very familiar with this place. Give me a minute. Oh, yes. The opening over there. That was solid rock before. The lava must have split it open and poured in here. But, but damn it! Where did it come from? Tires a dust ball. There's no active volcanoes anywhere on this planet. I think that we left the laws of normal physics behind a long time ago, Captain. It appears that the scaffolding reaches that opening. Shall we take a look inside? I don't see any other options. Uh, now wait a minute. I know that scaffolding didn't extend that far. It goes right through the fissure. Convenient. Maybe it was put there to help us. Regardless, we're wasting time. Agreed. Watch your footing, though, and keep your guard up. This stuff can be treacherous. Looks like a dead end. Okay, great. What now? Angel, what is it? Can you see something? Alright. Guys, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. It's not a dead end. Really? Where's the way through? Right there. Right in front of us. That's lava. Hieroglyphs I'll take a chance on. Lava, I won't. I'm not sitting near that thing, Angel. You're right. There's got to be some other way. You see it, right, babe? I see it. Hey! Angel! Angel! I told you it's not a dead end. You just ran. My, my God. I thought you were dead. Why didn't you? Would you have let me go if I told you what I was going to do, Drifter? I guess not. It's not a dead end. It's an illusion. Well, I did say I'd walk through fire for her, once. Come on through! The lava's fine! Doesn't your brother take anything seriously? Everything. He just doesn't let it show. On three? Fine. One, two... Small. But I like the architecture. What? I stand for a swim, don't you think? Sith! You killed my friend, you bastard! Really, Drifter? I thought we knew each other better by now. You know that's not the way. Screw you, Sith! I know that armor. You're with the slip jumpers, aren't you? Captain Kell? So glad to meet you at last. Yes, I am with the unholy army, or slip jumpers as you have so crudely termed us. And I must compliment you on the training you've given your men, Captain. They've made excellent food for my soldiers. We'll see who winds up dog meat. An empty threat at best. I must congratulate you, all of you. Most of the others didn't even get this far. Your race, Grim Jack, was only the third. And they, of course, failed in their test. That's why your people are ours now. And the same will become the humans, too. Soon. Like hell. We know, Seth. I read the glyphs. You can be beaten. If we break the barrier, the phantasms can come here and destroy you. Professor Ceylon said much the same, Angel. He's dead now. You killed Ceylon and Colt? Forget the rifle. I'll have your head. You humans, so violent, so primal. I like that. You'll make excellent soldiers. So let's get this over with. 
You are the chosen. Come and see what I have to offer. No. All of them. They can't all be dead. No. No. Your men are all dead, Captain. You're stranded, out of ammo and armor. My soldier has you outgunned. You. I know you. No, you don't, Captain. I'll make this simple for you. Join me. I'll give you a position at my side. One of my chief lieutenants. The power you will weld, Captain. Think of it. Power? Together we can reshape the world, Captain. Ah, one of the poor Cretans still lives. You have a rocket launcher. One plane hit would put him out of his misery, Captain. Do it, and take your place at my side. No. No, he's a Marine. What are you debating for? If you don't kill him, the Cyber Demon will, and then it will kill you. Is that what you want, Captain? Just say the word. Join me. He's a Marine. I won't do it. I won't do it! No! Join me, Captain. Join me or die. Join you? Join you? I don't think so. Die! Angel, um, there's something I have to tell you. What? Well, uh, okay. You know how you're not like other girls. What do you mean? You know what I mean. The magic. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I don't really know how to say this. I guess I just want, you know, a normal girl. I can't believe you'd say that. But damn it, it's true. You're a mutant, Angel. Some sort of freak. I, I don't want to be with someone like that. Can't you understand that? Drifter, no! Drifter? Drifter, what? Where am I? You should know, Jamie. This is where your parents are. Don't you ever come to visit them? I couldn't. I mean, I, I was running. Running? What would a girl like you be running from? Nothing. Everything! Oh, I see. It was your magic. They hated you because of your magic. No, it wasn't like that. But it was, wasn't it? They were jealous of your magic, and so they ostracized you, kicked you out of their group. And it hurt your parents, too, didn't it? They... They never understood. It killed them, you know. No, they died. Those others killed them, remember? The parents of a freak? You killed your parents, too. At least your magic did. No, it didn't happen that way. Yes, it did. You ran away because they didn't understand. The ones who hated you hated them as well. They killed your parents, Jamie, because you were born with magic. You have to accept responsibility for that. No, oh, that's not why. <laughs> there, there. Don't you worry. I can help. Your magic is a curse. Give it up. Give it to me. I'll take care of it for you. I'll take the responsibility off your shoulders. You can be normal again. But I've had it. All my life. And it's brought you nothing but pain. No, not all of it. Really? Name one good thing that it's done for you. Saved. It saved Drifter's life. When we first met, it saved his life. But Drifter left you. 
Remember, because of your magic. No, it didn't happen like that. Drifter understands. He's the only one who has. He left you. He abandoned you. No, he didn't. It's an illusion. It's all an illusion. I can see it now. Seth, you put me through this? Drag out the worst parts of my life like this? Why? Damn you. Damn you to hell! And now we meet. The first two have failed. Why should I even worry about how you do? Please, Sith. I cannot believe a word you say. I'm surprised. No illusions, no flashbacks to my past, no attempt to torment me by impersonating my dead mother, no trickery. What is your game, Sith? Grimjack, you understand me. We're both warriors. We both have a job to do. My job is to stop the phantasms from entering this realm. I thought you flattened the phantasms. Grim Jack, please. You're much too intelligent for that ignorant tripe. That's why I'm dealing with you on the level. And so I've become a chosen for this realm, just like my mother was a chosen for ours. How poetic. <laughs> and what do you have to offer me, Sith? Get it out in the open. Of course, Grim Jack. Your world. You jest. I don't. Your world is yours if you want it. All you have to do is walk away. I gave you my word as a soldier of the unholy army, and you know how that binds me. If you walk away now, your world is free. You really are on the level here, aren't you, Sith? I always am. So that's it then. I walk away, and you free my world. Exactly. It's so tempting, to be quite honest. Think of it, Grimjack. Your people free. You have a responsibility to them. You know, Sith, you're right. I do have a responsibility to my people. To free them any way possible. So, you accept my offer? Of course not, Sith. Don't insult me. My world has already been strip-mined, gutted. My once great people are now nothing more than broken-hearted laborers and lobotomized, mindless soldiers. What would they gain by freedom, Sith? What do we have left? There are still some of your people who thrive, Grim. The Resistance. Your friends back on your world. They could benefit greatly from freedom. You talk in two tongues, spouting lies and deceit. No, Sith, I won't let you flatten this people like you did mine. This realm will stay free of Shug Niggurat's grip. That is revenge enough. You throw away your world for that pack of dogs. No, I make up for my mother's mistake. I will save this world. Good evening, evening Miss Spade. I am Mr. Cinder. Cinder. How do you know my name? You have, have some, some information, information for me, I believe. A data, data packet? packet? Why, yes. Did you bring my money? Of course. There, there it is. is. Three, Three billion, billion in terror. You, you may, may count, count it if you wish. I wish. Three billion in terror. Looks like you're on the level here, Cinder. Of course. of course. You do not you acquire a reputation such as mine by cheating your personnel. personnel. Now, the, the information. information. Yes. What is it? That is none of your concern. Give, Give it to it me, me, please. No, what are you going to use it for? That is none of your concern. This is a simple business transaction. I give you money, you give me information. Simple. Right. But it's not that simple. I used to think it was, but Mac didn't. This is information that could hurt a lot of people. I remember that now. You are a DAT runner. You do a simple job providing information. You do not get involved. You're right, I didn't. But I am now. Take your damn money. Take it has too much blood on it for my take. 
You will give me that information. You will die. I'm not letting you have this, Cinder. For too long I've turned a blind eye to what I was doing. If I give you this, the blood of innocence is on my hands as well as yours. That's what Mac was trying to tell me. You are letting, letting emotions, emotions interfere, interfere with, with business. business. And you're letting anger interfere with common sense. You see, anyone with brains would have run from me by now. You want this info, Cinder? <laughs> you come and get it. And now we're left with you, Kyler McKenzie. What are you doing here, Mac? Why did you come to this place? You must have known you'd die. I'm not afraid of death, Sith. I've faced it down many times. It was required that I come here, and so I came. What about you, Sith? Are you afraid of death? Death? What a silly question, Mac. I'm an immortal. I don't die. Of course, that was a silly question. Oh, and by the way, how's your mother? Shemdi Rat? Fine and dandy, that's not her. Torturing the innocent and enslaving the weak does take up a large portion of her time, but still she manages to send an email every now and then. Ha, I bet. Well, Sith, as much as I enjoy this witty banter, I have to ask, can we get this over with? What's your offer? Simple. I'll make you any more. Oh, really? Gee, let me think. Um, nah. Offer refused. But, Mac, you don't understand. I'm not offering to make you any more. I already have. What? But I don't want it. I told you no. Oh, I see. You think that's the offer? How stupid of me. <laughs> I agree. How stupid of you. You see... Immortals don't die, but they can experience pain. Very intense pain, actually. But it doesn't kill us, you see. We go on. Damn, you're tough. Tell me how I can be like you. Well, try this. <coughs> I listen to you. You see, you can actually burn for an eternity. Die. How did that feel, Mac? That's my offer, by the way. Surrender. Give up. If you do that, you're free to go. Otherwise, you can burn for an eternity. It's your choice. What the hell? That's no offer. That's a pretty crappy deal, Sith. But there it is. Deal with it. Surrender. That's what you still don't understand about us humans, Sith. We bounce back. Always. <laughs> it's funny, but, you know, since I know it can't hurt me, it really isn't that bad. It's pain, but that's all it is. I'm an immortal, right? In fact, this lava is downright cozy once you get used to it. Come here, Sith! Come on down here and join me! What the hell? Well, the Chosen have been tested, Eric. They failed. Pity. What? They haven't been tested. You haven't tested me. Oh, Eric. I'm sorry. Did you actually think you were one of the Chosen? You were just along for the ride, boy. <laughs> How funny. You see yourself as a Chosen. You just come over here and see what I can do. Why don't you come over here, Sith? You chicken. Hardly. <laughs> Hold it. You don't want to interrupt my concentration. I might drop one. Drop one? What the hell? Let them go, Seth! Let them go? Really? Well, if you want... No! Don't drop them! <laughs> don't let them go. You humans are so strange. One minute you want one thing, the next you want something completely different. Curious, 
This is between you and me, Sith. Leave them out of this. Teleport them away, back to the Marine base. Let's resolve this like men. Oh, please. As if I would sink to the level of a homo sapien. Let's resolve this like true immortals. We hold the lives of millions in the palms of our hands, Drifter. The phantasms are no different. They seek power, just as we do. They seek to control the weaker races, just as we do. Except we do it with more style, Barry. What the hell is your game, Seth? Simple. I'm gonna let you be an immortal. You get to choose which one of them lives. What? That's crazy. But it's so simple, Eric. Your lover or your sister. One lives, one dies. How much simpler can it get? You bastard. You filthy bastard. I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that. But then I'd drop both of them. So choose, Eric. You have ten seconds. Or I drop them both. No! I won't play your game, Seth. Then you let them both die. Think, Gary. Be grateful I'm letting you save the one. Ten. No! Angel! Sassy! Nine. Think, damn it, think! Eight. Seven. That's it! Six. That's it, Seth! The barrier has been broken! The Chosen One! Five. But, but the reactor has to be started. Four. You'd kill them both anyways. You'd kill all of us! Three. No, Sith. You lose this round. Two. I'm starting that reactor. Drifter. Fuck you, Sith. See you in hell. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>